Today I'm gonna do the demo for this little it's like a bowl but it's, you can serve a tea in here. Uh, usually the better tea taste is that the, the loose leaf tea. It's better than tea bags. So you want a loose tea. So you want to brew it in some kind of a container that key part for this container we call Gai One. Okay. You can uh, Google it. It's called uh, G A I on W A N Gai One. Uh, meaning is Gai means lid. One means bowl. A little bowl. But you can serve the tea in there. Okay. On. Um, uh, I never done this before, but uh, I do a whole bunch of uh, research online, and uh, so I met this uh, uh, before the class. So I show you that there's the actual uh, stuff that you can do. I usually hold people holding this like one hand, and then uh, put the tea leaves there inside, and then hot water, and then wait uh, maybe a couple minutes, and then you can pour it out. So the function for this one is that you won't be able, you will be able to hold it in one hand okay in one hand and then uh this, the tea is very uh when you're serving hot water it's gonna be hot so you want to hold on the rim instead of holding on the body okay so the rim has to be a little bit wider okay that's the design of this one and then you wanted the tea uh, the water to be able to pull out but the tea leaves in, live inside so there's uh, some kind of a, a, a filter or some some kind of uh, strainer that, that your tea stays inside and just the water come out, the tea come out, okay? So that's the design and there are two ways of design. This three hole has nothing to do with that, okay? Just for decoration. But here, there's a little uh, uh, channels, okay? I make a, a six of them. I cut out a little uh, groove there. So the tea, when the lid is covered, the water can come out from there, okay? Or oh, there's some other design that you could punch a holes right on the lid, so the water come out from the lid, okay? And that, that the lid is uh, controlled, straining the, uh, all the tea leaves inside, just that it comes, comes out, okay? That's the design of it, okay? So, I'm gonna do that. So you see that there's a gallery inside, so you will be able to have your lid sit right on the gallery there. Without moving, and then I pull out. Okay. So again, this I just made it uh, in the weekend, so it's still uh, bone dry. So handle with care if you're gonna take a look at. It, okay. And first thing, make sure your clay is thick. So put the down pressure and seal the bottom corner. Right. So. That's uh, how you manage to get your clay to stick on your bed. And since I am just throwing up the hump, so I'm just focused on the very top and just grab a certain amount of the clay, depending on how big you want to use. Uh, I want to uh, serve the tea. If you don't have more, because your, your hand, the width of your hand is only limited, so you can make it a little bit deeper so you can come have more uh, tea leaf inside or more uh, liquid inside. Just make it taller, okay? Or if you want to just serve a small amount of tea, then make it shorter. That's all the difference. But the width has to be under control of your both hands. The uh, little things I usually use more of my finger to uh, pinch it. Just grab a pinch and use a smaller uh, spot to touch the surface and move the clay. Alright. And I forgot to tell you that I actually make the rim a little bit wider so that I could pull up the spout on the side here you think it's shorter because I trim it I cut it out it was about this wide right the whole outer part outer part of the rim that wide 
and then I make a spout and then I cut the side so it's smaller. So that's the tip, okay? If you want to get the spout a little bit better, hang it out a little bit more so that you don't have a drip. Move the uh, outer part, the flare out of the rim, okay? And then you want to use this for a wooden rib. Make sure the corner is very sharp, okay? Uh, I saw a lot of uh, wooden rib, actually uh, when the, the rib share from the class, it's been uh, used for many, many people and it's getting curved. You want to get a very sharp corner, okay? If you don't have a sharp corner, just send it on the same paper. So you will have a very sharp 90 degrees. Okay. And then uh, you just want to um, have a little bit of uh, support there and do a little bit of a compression. So there's a little clay hanging out. A little clay hanging out there uh, and then you clean it up when you do that maybe uh, you want to brace your your hands together so your hand is more stable Is it gallery? What? Is that acting as a gallery? Yeah, it's acting as a gallery. So your lid is gonna sit right there. Okay. Right? And then uh, you wanna measure the size. You don't have a camera, you can use a router. Okay, so 96. And then I can cut it off from the hump. Remember last week I showed you how to uh, cut it. If you wanna cut it more uh, easier, you can use a wooden knife. Just hold it horizontal. I saw you guys kind of hold it like that. Hold it horizontal and then just do maybe half of inch, cut it in. Insert, right, and let go and pull. Okay, that's it. Oops. <laughs> okay. And uh, for you to pick it up easier, Okay, sometimes you have a hard time to pick it up. It's because your hand is too wet, so it's a slip of finger. And also, sometimes the foot is too white, so you have to squeeze it in. So the key is the foot is smaller. Okay, the foot is smaller. And uh, if you have a hard time to pick it up, try your fingers. It should be easy for you to just lift it up like that and pick it up. Okay. Right, and then for the lid is much easier. Just making a very shallow bowl. The key is the measurement. Okay? You have to measure it correctly. Or you can make your lid a tiny little bit uh, wider and uh, just trim it down, okay? Trim it to fit. 
make sure you are leaving you must throw the lid upside down so this will be the nut and that the lid is hanging out so make sure you leave enough for you to cut for the knob and the lid could be uh, any shape if you want to just hang it out like this even curve or you can have a lid like coming out here and then you go up a bit like that okay, it's up to you we can design uh, any kind of lid you want it's coming out and a little bit might be a little bit too white already let's see here yeah it's a little bit too white so I have to uh, cut it bit smaller so I could uh, extend it a little bit So the key is making the inner part as nice as you can. The outside, it's adjustable. You can remove a lot of clay by just trimming. So it doesn't matter, but normally we don't trim the inside. So just make sure that it's as nice as you can. It's also true for the bowl or, or the mugs. So I use my finger to kind of squeeze down the clay so you can see that I leave a little bit more room for me to trim the knob later on. Okay. okay. Let go on. Uh, and you can hold right there without touching the rim so it's easy for you to lift it up this way okay. actually you should uh, do this about earlier when i still on the wheel so if the foam is deformed you could always uh, kind of a touch back so that's about it's uh the foam is stay in a small circular shape So again, just like we are doing that uh, sake bottle, right? So just, just define where you want your uh, spout going to be wider or narrower. Just put the two fingers there and little pinch. Kind of stretch it out so you want to have the spout hanging out a little bit more. So just stretch the clay a little bit.
right? And later on, you when it's later hard, you can come back and then uh, adjust a little bit. Okay, use a sponge or use a hand to adjust a little bit. And this part here, uh, usually this part smaller looks, the whole piece looks nicer. So I would trim a little bit, the clay cut a little bit off. So the spout is like hanging out more. The look of the spout is hanging out more. So 